this tutorial I just want to have a brief look at project management but before I do that I also want to show you once again what happens if you've opened a project that was previously saved in either CS5 or CS5.5 and you want to get back to the default look of CS6 so here's a previous project and if I click to open it up you'll see that it looks kind of like the CS5.5 or the CS5 layout obviously things are different and we've got the icon at the top showing us it's CS6 if we want to get back to the CS6 default workspace we simply go to Windows workspace and then making sure we've got the editing one here not the CS5.5 but the standard editing for CS6 we go down to reset current workspace yes we are we do want to reset it to the original CS6 workspace and the only thing that we haven't got rid of is the preview area over here in the project panel now the preview area does have its uses particularly when you want to preview a whole bunch of audio files very quickly so I can open up the audio files select one and click play stop or the second one play stop so you can very quickly go through a whole bunch of audio files with this preview area but for video files particularly when we're in the icon view and we control double click say the video here with the hover scrubbing we don't really need this preview area so to turn it off remember you go over to the panel menu here click on it and you're looking for preview area and we can turn off the preview area so if you want it back on to check out audio say then you want to do it there otherwise you don't need it if we go to audio files if I go back up and we control double click you can't really hear the audio files so this is where you would want to have the preview area okay so I'm gonna go back up here's my project panel and I'm gonna to go to list view as we expect it here now I've got a few sequences here if I open up this sequence I've got one that said edited and this is the edited end result um, but I've also got footage in my project panel that isn't actually included in this project and I finished this project and I would like to organize my project panel in other words get rid of everything that's not associated with this project before I archive it now I can do this when I'm archiving but I might feel that for organizational purposes it's great to do it as we go along a simple way of doing it is to go up to the project menu here and you'll see right at the bottom as long as your project panel is selected and you have got footage that isn't being used so I can quickly show you that by simply go to icon view here and control double click my video you'll see that I'm going to maximize the screen and you'll see that there's footage down here with the grade icon showing me that these particular items are not included in the project I'm going to minimize that screen again if you can't remember where it is it's the tilde key which is in different places for different keyboards so it's just above the tab key on the left hand side for some or it's just to the left of the enter key for others just above the hash or the same button as the hash key just hit the button and it'll do it and for me it's the apostrophe button which shares the the at symbol and I can go back so I know that I've actually got footage in here that's not included in my project so to get rid of it I simply go project remove unused and then when I pull down you'll see that everything is actually used in my project be it just video or video and audio okay so that's how we can reset our workspace we can get rid of unused footage the other thing we can do is we can archive off our project and we can do it in one of two ways you do it from the project manager which is found under the project tab and then second to bottom project manager and that opens up a new dialog box for us and it says okay what do you want to save and then we've got two options do you want to save all of your sequences or do you just want to save some of them well I just want to save the edited sequence and it says right do you want to create a new trimmed project or do you want to collect all the files and copy them to a new location now if I choose create a new trimmed project you'll see it includes handles 25 frames so each piece of media that it copies across is going to include an extra 25 frames before and after if they're there so that we've got room for transition or wiggle room in case I need to edit it just a little bit a bit later on and it's going to save it to the location that I decide I would save mine to my desktop and to this folder that I selected and it even calculates the size of the project and when you click OK you get a new folder inside this folder that says trimmed and the project is trimmed with all the footage in it that's trimmed with 25 frames handles on all the clips 
but if you do collect files and copy to a new location it will also include if you wish preview files and conformed files and when we click OK it's going to create a new folder called copied which will include all the files in their original form so the complete length so a trimmed file will just use the trimmed amount of your footage so just a little bit of footage that you may use plus the handles that you'd specify so it's going to be smaller whereas a collect files and copy to new location will take all of the files and copy them in their entirety to the location you specify and then you can move it across to another computer because all your files are in one place. So that's how you can either create a trimmed project for archiving purposes because you've finished and you're not going to do anything else or you can have all your files available in case you want to go back in there and make some edits a bit later on. To be honest with you, more often than not I tend to prefer to collect all files because you never know when you're going to want to go back and have it all in one place to start again but obviously the choice is yours and there's a little button down here that also allows you to calculate it. So that's the project manager and that's how we can do simple project management in Premiere Pro.